use in wine. Wine and other alcoholic beverages like beer are the products of a process called fermentation. Now, fermentation is a process in which the microorganism, yeast and bacteria, break down carbohydrates into simpler products like ethanol or lactic acid in the absence of oxygen. The source used for making wine is grape and for beer it is barley maltose. And the microorganism employed is yeast or Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The biochemical reaction is as follows. C6H12O6, that is glucose, gives 2C2H5OH, that is ethanol or ethyl alcohol, plus CO2. Grapes are crushed and fermented in large vessels. Yeast cells that may be naturally present on the grapes or are added carry out the process. Ethanol, that is ethyl alcohol, is produced at a concentration of about 12%. And this concentration starts killing yeast cells. What is left is wine. Characteristics of wine Wine is quickly absorbed into the body. In very mild quantities, it may be a stimulant, but when consumed in large quantities, it is harmful in many ways. Alcoholics may develop body ailments, particularly liver cirrhosis. Use in bread making. In baking a mixture of flour, that is Atta or maida, some fat, salt and water is required to make dough. The starch of the flour gets converted into sugar. When the yeast is added, it ferments the sugar and produces carbon dioxide. And the dough rises, that is called leavening to about three times its original volume. When the dough is baked, the gas bubbles expand and give the bread a light, spongy texture. Use in cheese. Constituents of cheese. Cheese is a valuable food with high quantities of protein, some fat, together with calcium and phosphorus, and vitamin A with some quantities of vitamin B. People have been eating cheese for centuries. It has been made from milk. Do you know how it's manufactured? Let's find out. Manufacture of cheese. Curdling of milk by addition of lactic acid bacteria, that is lactobacillus. Curd produced is separated from whey. Curd is processed to remove moisture. At this stage, it is called cottage cheese. Salting. This further removes moisture and prevents growth of undesirable microorganisms. Ripening. The curd is kept at suitable temperature and humidity. The microorganisms added along with lactic acid bacteria at step 1 impart particular flavors to the cheese.